In this module, you will see that we will see how responsibility is fixed according to gender and how grammar is involved in it. So this module, in a way, is continuation of the talk we did in the previous module. For example, see this sentence, husband A hit his wife. Now in this case, what happens? Husband is mentioned, the responsibility of hitting is fixed upon husband and there is quite likely that wife may have also hit husband. This is not mentioned. So whenever, from a feminist point of view, man is made responsible for crime or violence against woman, the whole responsibility is fixed by, uh, by such feminists upon men. How? By assigning them agent role in the sentence. And in law courts, what happens? Because legal system, in legal system, males are more important. They play active role in legislation. So mostly, laws are in favor of males. What happens over there? The situation is different. It often happens in courts, especially during trials, that women and girls are set in agent position. So the whole responsibility is diverted towards females. See, what happens in trials? When women talk, they use language of violence. This person hit me, this person grabbed my hair, etc. And what men do? We were fooling around. We were just kidding. Uh, this, uh, there is nothing serious in it. So they try to underplay their action. Right? Now, see clearly, the woman is being made responsible. Responsibility of an act of violence against women is highly gendered, as we see in this example. Men often get relief from course because women use language of ineffective agency. What is meant by ineffective agency? So when they are in agent role, you know the agent role. I have explained it with examples in previous modules. But their agent role is very ineffective because the language they use is ineffective. That is weak. That in fact decreases the intensity of their words. For example, I was confused. Uh, I didn't do anything. So this is the agency which they uh, use in such cases. Assigning responsibility also involves color or class besides gender. So, up to this point, our discussion was confined only to gender. That responsibility is assigned on the basis of being a male or female. But sometimes the class and color of the person involved also matters. In US, for example, if the criminal is a black male, they would, they would make him responsible for the act of violence against women. And if women are young, they would be made responsible if they are single. But if they are mature, and somewhat old and belong to some higher class of society, elites, etc., they are never made responsible for any offense. So we conclude that language roles pin down responsibility of crimes 
against women overall right so how you place different participants in a sentence according to the action process that is uh, contained in verb that would reveal who is being made responsible for what this is the conclusion of this module